This is SSP TV News, brought to you by Samsung Productions and the Hazleton Standard Speaker. More U.S. history lands at the Hazleton Airport. We'll check out the Wings of Freedom tour next. Good evening and thanks for joining us at SSP TV News. I'm Ken Cara and here's your local information from SSP TV and the Hazleton Standard Speaker. A meeting into the planned closing of the White Haven Center will now be held in White Haven. State Representative Tara Tuhill formerly requested the change of venue to a larger location closer to the White Haven facility. The public meeting was set to take place September 12th at the Hazleton One Community Center. The State Representative's Office received a number of complaints about the location being too far away from the center. She tells SSP TV News that she received confirmation today that the September 12th meeting will now be held from 1 p.m. until 4 p.m. at St. Patrick's Church, 411 Allegheny Street in White Haven. Two Hill says this location is closer to the White Haven Center and is handicap accessible with a larger parking area. The Department of Human Services announced last week that it would close the center over the next three years. Representative Two Hill says, quote, we will not sit back and let Governor Wolf close this facility without a fight, unquote. History came to life today at the Hazleton Regional Airport. This was the scene earlier today as five of the world's most famous World War II bomber and fighter aircraft were on display. The Wings of Freedom Tour is made possible by the Callings Foundation, an educational nonprofit that uses the proceeds to continue the operation of these historic aircraft. Young people today, I guess, don't even know about World War II anymore. And they can come out and see these airplanes and talk with the people that fly them and maybe even with the people that actually flew them and find out what it was like back in World War II, that the survival of our country depended on these airplanes. We do have five aircraft here uh, on display. We have the B-17 right behind me. There's a B-24 Liberator bomber. It is a combat veteran and the only one left in the world that is still in fully reconditioned form and flying. We have a B-25 Mitchell, the kind that were used on the Doolittle raid uh, to attack Tokyo. We have a P-40 Warhawk, which is one of the Flying Tiger aircraft. Uh, that's new to the tour this year, has been very popular. And we have a P-51D trainer, uh, which is one of the most uh, uh, rare and prestigious of the piston-driven fighter aircraft of the Second World War. The planes will be on display until 8 p.m. this evening and tomorrow from 9 a.m. until noon when they will leave for another destination. For information on tours or flights, call 1-800-568-8924 or visit cfdn.org. Life is all about variety. They know that at Frankie's Pizzeria and Restaurant in downtown Hazleton. Let's take another trip there. Welcome back to Frankie's Pizzeria and Restaurant, where we talk about family, we talk about food. I'm with one of the owners, Lauren Sacco. Lauren, let me tell you about my mom. When I was growing up, there's always a side dish, something to go with the main item. And mm -hmm. for my wife, it kind of blew her mind, because I always need to have two different things when I'm eating. Like, I don't want to eat just one thing. I need something on the side of it. Mm -hmm. And this at Frankie's is a perfect option. You can get half a sandwich and a salad, right? You can mix and match. You can mix and match. Mm -hmm. So what are my options? We've got a lot of options. So we use a really good Italian bread here. Okay. And this bread is phenomenal when it's grilled. Um, so you could get a grilled meatball and scamuts, a grilled sausage, a grilled cheesesteak, chicken cheesesteak, a cold cut. We will give you half of a sandwich for a super deal and you can pair it up with a cup of our homemade chicken pastine soup or you can pair it up with a side salad. Today we featured the side salad. Um, it's a little bit more hint of spring is coming, the air is getting warmer, <laughs> get outside, move around. Um, so this is like the perfect lunch combo. It's a little bit of both worlds. You could still have the sandwich that you crave and love, but you could pair it up with something a little bit healthier versus the whole sandwich. When I first ordered this, I really thought it was just off a whim, and I was like, I'm gonna, still going to be hungry, you know what I mean? This is a healthy half of a sandwich. Mm -hmm. I mean, this, this is a good deal, yeah. I will tell you, and most people could probably disagree with me, growing up in our family, we ate everything. And a lot of the times we'll say, you know, my father and my husband, they love to eat, and they're a lot of our taste testers on different <laughs> things. And they'll always say, I don't know how you and your sisters and your mother stay skinny. And it's because we eat whatever we want, but in moderation. So there's nothing crazy about this other than if you're craving a meatball sandwich, eat the meatball sandwich. <laughs> but instead of having the whole thing, pair it up with a side salad or a cup of soup. 
I want to talk about your meatballs for me. So this is meatball and skamuts mm -hmm. right here. So let's talk about skamuts. I mean, people yes. might hear that word if they're not from our area and say, what, what are you talking yes, about? Yes, very so. native to here. Yeah. Um, skamuts for us here at Frankie's, it's a blend of whole milk and part skim mozzarella melted down over your meatballs, over your chicken parm, over Sicilian pizza. Um, we use it a couple different ways here. It looks delicious, and like I said, you got a healthy, look at that half a sandwich mm -hmm. right there. It's a beaut. Come down, it's one of your many options here at Frankie's Pizzeria and Restaurant. Time now for weather on SSPTV News. Hey, it's the Electric City up in Scranton. A story from there coming soon to SSPTV News and Community NEPA News. Here's our forecast now from the National Weather Service. 30% chance of showers and thunderstorms this evening. We'll have a low of 67 degrees. And then on Wednesday, a 60% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Some may produce heavy rains and gusty winds. We will have a high of 81 degrees. Wednesday night, 60% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Mostly cloudy, low of 67. 40% chance of showers, maybe a thunderstorm on Thursday, partly sunny, high of 81. Same chance of storms at night, mostly cloudy, low of 56, mostly sunny with a high of 72 on Friday, and mostly clear Friday night, low of 52. Saturday, sunny with a high near 74, and Saturday night, mostly clear, low of 53 degrees. Four games from Monday at the Little League World Series to tell you about today. Here's the SSP TV standard speaker scoreboard. Hawaii beat New Jersey to move on to the U.S. Winners Bracket semifinal against Virginia in an elimination game. Louisiana taught Minnesota. The Latin American region, the team from Venezuela eliminated Mexico. They had to come back to get the victory. It was a great game. They will face the Caribbean in the elimination bracket. The Rail Riders won their second straight with a win at home against Pawtucket Monday as they get Closer to that season ending series with Buffalo, they lead the Bisons by two games in the International League North Division. Coming up, our 2019 Hazleton Area High School football preview. We'll talk with head coach Mike Brennan and two of his players. And many people know the story of the Centralia Mine Fire, but do you know about the church that still operates in the almost abandoned town? That story is next. Watch SSP TV in Wilkes-Barre Saturday and Sunday from 7 p.m. until 11 p.m. on Service Lecture Cable Communications Channel 92. Good evening, everyone. Here's today's Talk of the Town. Free potassium iodide will be distributed on this Thursday at the locations that are listed on your screen. For more information, you can visit health.pa.gov. And that's today's Talk of the Town. SSP TV News would like to send sincere condolences to the family and friends of the following. Donald B. Drumheller of Ringtown services Thursday at 11 a.m. at the Brandonville Union Cemetery. The Stauffer Bresnick Funeral Home in Ringtown is in charge of arrangements. Joan C. Adekimo of Hazleton. Massive Christian burial is Friday at 10 a.m. at St. Joseph Church in Hazleton. Friends and family may call Friday from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. at the church. The Frank J. Bonin Funeral Home in Hazleton is in charge of arrangements. Yefrailin Gonzalez Tavares of Hazleton. Friends and family may call Tuesday from 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. at the Frank J. Bonin Funeral Home in Hazleton. Agnes Yachera, formerly of Hazleton. Massive Christian burial is Saturday at 10 a.m. at St. Joseph Church in Hazleton. Friends and family may call Saturday from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. at the church. The Frank J. Bonin Funeral Home in Hazleton is in charge of arrangements. And Helen Helchia Rozonski Leshko. Massive Christian burial is Monday at 10 a.m. at St. Joseph Church in Hazleton. Friends and family may call Monday from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. at the church. The Frank J. Bonin Funeral Home in Hazleton is assisting the family. Tonight's social news was brought to you by Harmon Funeral Home homes and crematory, call 570-788-0977 or visit harmonfuneral.com for information.